versus Rum Nitty. Okay. Now, honestly, I already knew Ilmac was going to come with it. I already knew Rum Nitty was going to come with it. I did not expect for Ilmac to break down Rum Nitty the way he did in that first round. Round one was probably one of the most uncomfortable rounds I feel like Rum Nitty had to sit through. Like, Ilmac was really picking at his character. This battle felt a lot like Charlie Clips versus Hollow. When Hollow was picking at his four bar setups and he had the audience participating with the whole showing how predictable it is, that's how it felt the way Ilmac attacked Rum in that first round. Like, he really was going at him, talking about how he's not a writer, he's a one trick pony. Like, he's he just, you know, he could do only one thing. And the way that he put the whole thing together in round one, like, it got to the point where you know when somebody's losing, when it starts to get like hard to watch, it starts to feel like they're being excessive with the way they're rapping about him. And like, Rum Nitty, it's rare you see him in that position, but Ilmac was really wilding on Rum Nitty in round one. Definitely gave the first round to Ilmac. Like, he, the way he put all that shit together, and it, it's, it's just like, I'm thinking from the way he's rapping, I'm like, damn, it seemed like he'd been waiting to say this stuff to Rum Nitty. Like, I'm like, this been sitting on your heart for a minute? Because we know Rum Nitty originally came from King of the Dot. So I'm like, this been sitting on your heart for a minute, bro? Like, <laughs> you need somebody to talk about it? But Ilmac definitely came with that, man. He came with that heat. I got Rum Nitty in the second. Rum Nitty, he came out the gate with it. He was super back-to-back -back with it in the second round. To me, I feel like the second round is pretty clear. You know, I feel like the first two rounds were clear. Bill Mac clearly got the first. Rum Nitty clearly got the second to me. Now, the third round, I feel like that's where it gets hairy. Because I feel like both of them really snapped. It wasn't their best rounds of the battle, but they were still fire rounds. Like, Ilmac definitely showed up. Like, he set the tone with round one. Like, with the way he came out in round one, I look, he got a little nervous for Rum Nitty. I thought it was, in my head, I'm like, if he got three of those, then this might be a long night for Rum Nitty. But the third, I feel like, is really too close to call. Like, they both snapped. But it's hard to call. So, like, if somebody has, like, me personally, I'm just going to say, like, I don't even know. Like, I, I, you know, I'll probably, just off of, like, shock factor, I wouldn't be mad if you give it to Ilmac as far as being the winner of the battle. But this battle is really too close to call. Like, they both really went at each other. And th this, honestly, was probably, like, one of the best Ilmacs I've ever seen, ever. And I've been watching Ilmac since way back. This is probably the best Ilmac I've ever seen. Like, he showed up and he showed out. Him and Rum Nitty really was trying to kill each other. This felt like a grudge match. Like, as far as wins go, bro. Like, I'm a, I, me personally, just from the way he put that shit together. Shock Factor round one. I would probably have to give it to Ilmac. But, like, I feel like I'm going to have to watch it again because Rum Nitty definitely had some shit. And his round two, Rum Nitty got round two clear. The third round is really too close to call. So, I really don't know who, you know, either way anybody calls it, I really can't be mad at him because this battle is really that close. Like, it was 1-1 one, one going into the third. And in the third, they both fought so hard, it's hard to tell who won. But this was definitely a fire battle. They definitely put on for that event. King of the Dot definitely got their money's worth out of both these guys. They showed up. They showed why they're both legends. This was a fire battle. One of the best battles that I've seen in a long time.